Good day everyone! This is Family B Tangkaga from Ansai 3 IG1. So today, I will be showing you the different parts of an egg and its functions and descriptions. So let's start and have it all done. So now we will be opening one egg. So this outer part of the egg is called the shell. It is the hard covering that encases all the egg contents. It is primarily made of calcium carbonate. It can be in a variety of different colors and shapes depending on the type of bird that laid it. It is porous which allows the embryo inside to breathe. The pores take in oxygen and other atmospheric gases and let out waste such as carbon dioxide and moisture. The large, this one, the large end has more pores than the small end. This one, the small end. If you look at the eggshell under a magnifying glass, you will notice the difference in texture, which is really the difference in pores. So now we will be cracking it and we will identify the parts inside. This is the shell membrane of the egg. It's like a thin paper but it's not. It's the shell membrane. It composes of outer and inner membranes. These membranes guard the embryo from bacterial invasions and rapid moisture loss. Now, at the end of the egg, there is a pocket of air this one this is what you call the air cell it is formed because when an egg is first laid it is very warm and as the egg cools the contents inside contract leaving this empty space or air pocket inside the shell the air pocket gets larger as the egg ages as you can see on the egg there's a small white thread-like cords here this is what you call the chalazae it is actually the twisted strands of mucin fibers or a special form of protein so if a very fresh egg is cracked the twisted cords or the chalazae would have been easily recognized but in this egg this is not really that fresh that's why the chalazae is not that visible so now I will be showing you the germinal disc. This is the germinal disc, a small white spot on the yolk where the egg could have been fertilized and an embryo would have started to grow. This germinal disc is where the nucleus of an egg is housed and it is where the sperm enters. So this is the germinal disc. In an egg, there is what you call the yolk membrane. The yolk membrane is located outside the yolk and it is most commonly named as the vitellin membrane. It holds the yolk in place. That's why the yolk did not mix with this white albumin. This is what you call the egg yolk. The egg yolk is the yellow inside portion of an egg that provides minerals, vitamins, fats, and proteins to the growing embryo. Finally, this is the white part of an egg. This is the thick albumin and this is the thin albumin. The thick albumin has a greater viscosity than of the thin one. A clear thin liquid that surrounds the vitalin membrane and it helps to provide another layer of protection and protein in growing or the, for the growth of the embryo. Albumin also is the major source of egg protein and vitamin B2. When we say vitamin B2, it composes of riboflavin. That's it and thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned something. Goodbye.